My name is Yana. And I'm Ted. And together we are Personal, Personal Praise. Praise. And due to the recent events taking place in Dallas and Baton Rouge and so many other places, you know, we just had to make this video. So as a teenager, we watch these videos, not only horrified, but we just don't know what to do with that information. I mean, we know it's wrong, but we don't know how to stop it. This is not just a minority issue. This is a black issue. All right, so personally, just watching the video evidence of black lives being taken for no reason at all was devastating. Yeah, I think what's sure shocking was. to me the most is that people, I mean, we really just didn't know this was going on. Yeah, I mean, this has been going on since the very beginning. And really the sad part is that we've been knowing these statistics about blacks and racial profiling. I mean, it's all out there. And, you know, we didn't do anything about it. Mm. The fact that lives had to be taken for the matter to finally be taken seriously is a disgrace. Did black people do anything about it? No. We saw the statistics and we just took our injustice quietly. I mean, we always seem to notice things, but we just let them slide. But now, as soon as we're finally getting media attention, they ignore it. Bottom line, we have to deal with our issue first. As soon as Black Lives Matter began, it was replaced with All Lives Matter. Then we explain how black lives don't degrade other lives, yeah. just puts attention on the black lives. Yeah. Then we started the whole blue lives matter. And trust me, we send our deepest condolences to the family sees and our sincerest apologies about the police officers who were murdered for simply doing right. their job. But blue lives don't exist. Blue is a job and it's a career. And listen closely, we don't want our message to be misconstrued in any way. Yeah. But a police officer can take their uniform off. A police officer can decide that the stakes of their job is too high. But being black, race doesn't work that way. Yeah, I mean, we can't take our race or our skin color off. We can decide that the stakes of being black are just simply too high. We have a life, and we are a person. And when we do this, we take the problem off the real issue here. Black Lives Matter is so powerful because the people who need to hear it most is our people. Yeah. Black people. We don't value our life. Mm. Anytime money places a higher value over someone's life, there's something wrong with it. The percentage of blacks killing each other is 90%. The percentage of whites killing each other is 82%. Mm. So please tell me why is there no such thing as white on white crime? Not to mention, white people's population is way higher than ours. So both numbers extremely high are not even publicized. Because black on black crime not only encourages us fighting in with the competition and with each other, but it makes it seem like we're the only ones killing each other. Right. We have to see the value in our own lives. Yeah. And in no way does an officer killing us over nothing help. Mm. The oath police officers take is to be peacemakers, not killers. When these cops who operate in fear are taking watch in our community, then more horror stories like these will happen. To be black in America is to have no value to your life. Mm. We have one of the highest poverty rates with a 70% chance of being born in a single parent household and the highest unemployment rate and the highest prison population. Mm, that is very true. Yet we are a minority. I hope you realize it's not about cops killing us. It's about the indifference between whites and blacks. We don't want equality, we want equity. We only got equal rights around 50 years from today. That's not even a lifetime. We've been held back for so long, for that long, and we're sorry, America. We haven't got it all perfect yet, but you all have had hundreds of years to get this together. To be black in America is to be unappreciated, unprepared, and to be hated and not accepted by many people that are in our community. And finally, this message is to the politicians, presidents, and any movement that is attempting to help black people as a race. Psalm 127 says, if God doesn't build the house, the builders only build in vain. If God doesn't guard the city, the people who watch, they watch in vain. It's useless to rise early and go to bed late and work your worried fingers to the bone. Unless God is at the forefront of everything we do, we will not succeed. Amen. The protests will eventually die down and nothing will be accomplished. Amen. To be black in America, you either have to be awoken and survive or you will die.